Howdy, it's Jim Morato, and this is late March 2024. We're in one of my favorite towns on the planet, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we're staying on this trip yeah, right there at the very new Embassy Suites by Hilton Gatlinburg Resort. I think that's the technical name. And the place, had, uh, it opened in March. We, uh, They've only been open a couple of weeks. We got to stay there the first month that it opened. I was very excited by that. Yeah, I got, I got a lot to say about this place. It was uh, it was pretty cool getting to stay here. Uh, we're kind of in the front lobby area. Walking just a little bit away from the lobby, there is a an outfitter store right there, and they do tours. That's Smoky Mountain Guides, and we we actually ended up talking to them quite a bit. They were good people. Uh, they're, I think they're trying to do something kind of new with this hotel. It, it it's a very updated. You know, I know if you've stayed in Gatlinburg before. Oh, by the way, that that's inside of the Smoky Mountain Guides. Um, area they offer tours they sell stuff talk to a fellow named Clayton who runs the place just just in a nutshell I think they're trying to make this uh, a little bit more upscale of a hotel in Gatlinburg if you've been going to Gatlinburg for years you know there's the whole gamut of hotels very nice ones all the way to very outdated ones and honestly, I think there are quite a few kind of outdated hotels. And this this one's new. It felt new. It felt slick. Kind of a nice big area to play out back. They had uh, cornhole. They have a swimming pool. They had these cool fires. And it was cold. But these fires were nice and warm. So even on a cold night, uh, you can go outside and feel kind of warm. And of course, they've got creeks going everywhere. I love that. Uh, this hotel is, uh, to me, it's it's very close to um, to the Park Vista, uh, kind of a point point of reference. If um, uh, yeah, I mean it's definitely walking distance, and it uh, it's it's fairly conveniently located. It it is, I'd say a good may, maybe half mile away from the main strip in Gatlinburg, but uh, but it's still very convenient. You know, especially if you're going to be doing some of Gatlinburg, some of the Smoky Mountains. Hey, it's just a very good place to stay. They had a nice restaurant bar area. I don't think they've actually opened their restaurant just yet. But uh, but we were able to... Uh, we, we got some food from the bar a couple nights we were there. It was reasonably priced. It was good. And again, just looking around the hotel some more. Uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, I wanted to mention Smoky Mountain Guides. They've partnered with Smoky Mountain Guides here at this Embassy Suites, and they have a little room that I showed you a moment ago. And uh, you know that they, they they aren't there consistently. I think if they're out doing tours, you know, then you'll have to catch them later. But they um, they offer guided tours. They sold stuff. They actually had their own exclusive shirts, and I, I bought one. It was so nice. But they they weren't trying to push stuff. You know, if you wanted to go in and just ask them. You know, what's going on in town, what's going on in the mountains. Uh, they were happy to tell you. And I probably talked to them for 45 minutes. And, I, you know, it's not like the timeshare people. They're not trying to push stuff on you. They're there because they love the park. And that was just uh, just very nice. Kind of a nice addition to the hotel. There's a look inside of what I, I assume will be their restaurant. And it's all made up nice. Uh, and, again, this was not open while we were there. But, uh, but when they open it up, it's going to be a... Yeah, just something nice to have. It had a very nice bar area, and they have an evening reception. If you're staying at the hotel, you get a little ticket, and it's good, I think, for a couple of drinks between 5 and 6.30. And they were very generous with the drinks. I saw a guy get bourbon, and uh, a very nice bartender running the place, but they only had one guy running the show. So there was, there was a bit of a line for drinks, eh, but, you know... Well, what do you expect? It was still a very pleasant experience, and I hope people tipped him well. He was great. There's the Park Vista uh, right next to where we were at. Kind of went and walked out a little bit. Uh, they have a nice coffee shop in the hotel. I'm not sure what their hours are. It wasn't open. Yeah, well, it was open at different times. 
but uh, really nice staff working there and I had some good drinks. I like when there's a coffee shop inside of a hotel. There was a look out the window from the coffee shop and there's some merchandise that they were selling. I did notice their, their prices were pretty good. They had a cute stuffed teddy bear with a Gatlinburg t-shirt on it for 12 bucks. And it was it was a cool bear, it was big. It was the kind of thing that you'd probably pay $30 for anywhere else. And I just thought that was pretty cool. Obviously they're not, uh, they're not gouging. And here's a quick look at our room. We had a very nice room. Uh, there's the bathroom, nice walk-in shower there. They had towels for us. Yeah, another look at the bathroom. Basically we had a little living room area. Yeah, they even welcomed us with their TV. Nice closet that my wife is showing off there proudly. Here's a look from our balcony. We were on the fourth floor. This balcony was really nice. And uh, we, we sat out there quite a bit and enjoyed it. There's our bed. Nice big bed. The bed the bedroom kind of connected to the bathroom. And then the bathroom and the bedroom both separately connected to this little living room area. And there was quite a, quite a bit of room there. It was a very spacious room microwave, fridge, even a little bookshelf. And there's there's another look from our balcony. Uh, that building right there to the left, kind of below, that's an indoor pool, outdoor pool, which was not quite open yet. And they have a little lazy river place there too. And there's that little fire pit, uh, as shown from our fourth floor balcony. Lots of people kind of gathered around that. And even late at night, I, you know, I got up and I looked out and I saw people out there gathered around. There's another look at our living room. Again, there's that little bookshelf space under the TV, which was just, uh, yeah, it was very nice. A good use of space. A very clean rooms. Again, it's brand new. And there's kind of at the other angle, looking out the window. Of course, the lighting's a little different there. And then that door goes to the bedroom. This door here on the left goes to the bathroom. Again, just a nice use of space. Oh yeah, they're uh, for the evening drinks, 5 to 6.30. I did not catch his name. He was the bartender. And uh, that guy deserves whatever they're paying him. I hope they're paying him well. Because he was great. If you've, if you've been in bars and you've talked to bartenders, uh, some of them have no personality. He was, he was great though. I bet we watched him pour several hundred drinks in about an hour and a half period. Uh, and he was just a nice guy. We talked to him quite a bit. And all. Another look from our balcony. That's at night, of course. And this is, you know, I think this is a good Gatlinburg view. There's some nature and, of course, the city. You can even see the Space Needle there over one of the hotels if you looked close enough. And some people out playing by the fire again. And people playing with their dogs, and you might hear my dog in the background. Yeah, just another look. And that pool is so pretty. And even the lights of the, the hotel, I mean, it's... You know, I know there's mixed feelings about Gatlinburg, but uh, it is a fun place to be. We're back down at the bar. I think we ordered a pizza. I think it was around 16 bucks. It was definitely enough for the two of us. The hotel food, it was definitely above average hotel food. I guess that's the best way to say it. And they do have an incredible breakfast in the morning. In fact, this might be my new favorite breakfast place as far as hotels go. Yeah, there's the pizza we had. We, we ended up taking that up to the room with us. And it was just, uh, you know, not the, not the best pizza I've ever had, but it was really, really good and it hit the spot. And then every morning they have uh, their little breakfast buffet open. And it was uh, it was actually something special. They had sausage, bacon. Uh, over there, kind of to the right, there is uh, an omelet station. And you fill out a little, a little piece of paper on, uh, you know, as what, what you want on your omelet. And they cook it up for you, and then they call your name. And, I mean, you could go crazy. You know, you could ask for uh, just about anything. And man, it was one of the best omelets I've had in my life. I'm not kidding. And then, you know, they still had the potatoes. They had scrambled eggs. They had other stuff that you could just kind of go. Uh, of course, they had some fruit, uh, some juices, coffee. Yeah, there's one of my omelets. And I'm still thinking about that. They uh, they nailed it. It was delicious. 
It is a new hotel. They were having some issues. I know uh, check-in time, they, it, it took them a little while to get our room together, but that was okay. It's Gatlinburg. We went and we walked around. We had a good time. Uh, the breakfast was supposed to open around 6.30 one morning. We were down there at 6.30. It may have opened around 6.33. Uh, nothing to get upset about. I would definitely go back to this hotel. In fact, I'm pretty sure uh, we will be going back to this hotel in the very near future. It's very conveni conveniently located. The price is right. And we liked what they were doing here.